Hello everyone, welcome to Food Review UK Vlogs. Today we are at Asda. There's a very large Asda Walmart super centre in Milton Keynes. Walmart. Walmart, Walmart. So yeah, there we go. There it is. Right, let's get inside and see what we've got. Claire, I just need to go to the toilet. It smelled so strongly of urine in there that I just had to put my hand over my mouth. Oh, that was... That was... I was in the toilet, obviously. Super mall. Check out our review. You ever tried it, Claire? You've never tried super mall? You'd like it? Well, don't be... You like minor. So, this is pretty weird, guys. This is Saturday. And on Wednesday night, I was here and I dropped, I accidentally dropped one of these waffle products, one of those waffles, and it, it fell under there and it's still there. That's quite, that's mildly amusing. It's not the funniest thing in the world, but it is mildly amusing. Correct. Uh. Afternoon tea cakes. Interesting. Oh, red velvet mini cakes. Nice, £1.50. Well, hello, what is this? A Alton Towers flavour. Wow. Do you want one for that? Wow, we'll buy that. Look, guys, they changed my favourite cake. And you've got chocolate on it now. Yeah, nice. you get chocolate on. Nice. I can smell burning. It's like burning rubber. Oh, it's bread. There you go, as the bread. Tastes like burning rubber. All of the usual suspects here, guys. Down. Dime. Caramel cookies. Oh, caramel cookies. I've not actually seen them yet. Uh, I'm not look even going to... Look at this. Look at this. It's terrible. Like, you can buy nice in your... Yeah. Packaging and then... Yeah. yeah, just a stupid label. Um, I would get them, but we know they're going to be disappointing, don't we? Like, we can guarantee that will be disappointing. We can. You want anything like No, of course they're not. Is it falling apart already? Claire, are you pointing out the low quality of the merchandise? But there's a food Look, review case. Look, you can get if you buy merch. <laughs> That's me because I I was rambling through the woods and I went on. Oh, lit! Jesus, I've just missed a child fall over. That's awful news. Um, yeah, I was rambling through the woods, through the bramble. In fact, I was rambling through the bramble. Oh, loud. I was rambling through the bramble and it got caught on it. So don't let that put you off guys. Foodreviewuk.spreadshirt.co.uk She loves it. So, any fans of my virgin kitchen? It's the, the pugs, innit? So, it's also a dragon. Bloody hell guys, look at these bloody muffins. Two quid, they are plump as you like, aren't they? They're good, aren't they, Claire? Yeah. Not getting them, no? No. no. Nice hot food counter, that's quite good. Sausage rolls, sausage rolls in there. Tikka chicken kebab. Hash brown. Not many chips then. Not many chips, no. That's a very small portion, isn't it? We are at the pizza counter. You're gonna get a ready made one? Nah, mate, you wanna get made up one. Fresh. So I've got the uh, the create your own double pepperoni, pineapple and extra cheese. Yeah, that'll be really nice. I'm looking forward to that. Island patties. We used to get we used to get Covent Garden soup quite often, but I uh, don't really get it anymore. Anyway, that's quite an interesting one. Uh, carrot, turmeric, and ginger. So we've got a uh, premium double stack. I'm gonna have this as a see to yourself meal one day with uh, lettuce and tomato. For burger vibes. This is a fairly Claire meal. Sun dried tomato and basil gnocchi. Let's see what she thinks. Claire, what do you think of this? Are you trying to make a joke? No. Jesus. Am I trying to make a joke? Not everything I say is a joke, Claire. Look at this, guys. Katsu chicken slice. One pound fifty. They've also got a piri piri one. I might, uh, might get that actually. 
They've also got a Moroccan vegetable pasty. For anyone who listens to Frock Unwrapped, I made a joke about the spelling and pronunciation of Absolut. 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 Um, we need to get on like how to make good rum cocktails. I can make good rum cocktails, bro. You nearly called your babe then, that would have been Oof. very conventional, yeah. Quite good to see the apple and watermelon spritz in smaller bottles, but I do still wish that the apple and uh, me, 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 the melon normal old school uh, J2O was still around because that was one of my favourite drinks of all time. To be fair, quite good to see sliced mozzarella. You don't see that all that often, really. It's one pound ninety. Man like Che. <laughs> I can't even say. Man like Che go. Huh? She loves it. So. You know that film, The Day After Tomorrow, and like Volcano, Dante's Peak, Armageddon, basically all those disaster films, this is the supermarket equ equivalent. This is fucking chaos, isn't it? This looks kind of boring to me, guys, but you might be interested. Um, not that you're boring, but uh, Quality Street Milk Choc Block Limited Edition. Just boring, look, it's just boring. I don't get it. New Munch Bunch Dessert, Chocolate and Cream. That's interesting. And an old favourite, favourite milky bar. Sli the milky bar slices go in the in the trolley, and the dessert goes back on the shelf. I've not done a review for this, but uh, I have tried it, and as I recall, I think it was like a two-star product. So there we go. That's sort of my official review. Not very good, but that's the first time I've seen it in singles. Claire is. Uh, let us know in the comments below if you work at a supermarket and you find this annoying. Um, Claire is swapping. But I think, where did the baby bell go, Claire? I normally go by the cheese. I think, I think it's there, isn't it? Um, I'm not, in, by the way, I'm not encouraging Claire to do this. I think this is bad. Jesus. Jesus. It's in the fridge. It's in the fridge. Yeah, that's true, I suppose, yeah. Fair play to Asda. They've got some interesting nuts here. Smoked paprika flavour almonds and cashews. Habanero chilli peanuts. Claire's found tomato ketchup flavour popcorn. Yeah, no, I have heard of them, but no. Uh, we've actually just put these in our trolley. Sweet and salty cashews and peanuts. It's honey roasted cashews with chocolate covered peanuts. My favourite. Yeah, that's a good idea, that. Guys, make sure you've seen our video about how to find new foods. Because if we weren't in that cafe but earlier, look, there's a six pack of that limited edition Seabrooks. So always look up. Cut to me looking up. Two for one. Yeah, we're going to Alton Towers soon. I'm going twice, yeah. Been on a bit of a rhubarb kick recently, and this looks good. Raspberry rhubarb and orange blossom. I've also got pressed pear and elderflower. Believe it or not, guys, that is actually the first time I've seen that Oreo sandwich product. Um, yeah, cool. I don't think it looks very interesting though, to be honest. Ah, look at this guys, a very fortunate find. The new and old packaging of Pick and Mix. Um, I think it looks better actually. Yeah, I think that's that's a nice little rebrand and they've gone for a matte feeling bag as well. It actually looks quite good, I reckon. Whoa, they've got a lemon drizzle Kit Kat. Uh, there's also a new flavor of this out. It's, there it is, the raisin one. So uh, yeah, that is the new flavour guys, not that any of the others were anything to really write home about. This is uh, all of Asda's sort of fake Oreo products. Fair play to them, because they've got a, a huge range and whatnot. Uh, of course we've got standard Oreos here as well. We've got the new birthday cake one. Uh, interesting to know, actually, the strawberry cheesecake has got a new logo on it. That logo actually looks really good, so fair play- oh, Jesus, I nearly got them. Uh, no, that would be a huge problem, um, but yeah. Well done because that's actually quite good Oreo and there's the terrible product that we'll always swear at. Look at that. Get your attention. Yeah, I was in the middle of filming. Look, it looks like they're trying to get on the old naked bar. Yeah? Theme. What, go ahead? Yeah. Oh, I see what you mean, yeah. Oh my god. Crunchy dippers. Oh my god. Pretzel bites. Go ahead, Claire, go ahead. Here. Winter, winter, winter. I think there's a new product here, super rice and sauce. I might get. They're 50p. 
Hang on, how can they be rolled back if they're new? You can't roll... What's that label? But they, they're labelled new. I mean, what's so they got sweet and sour, chicken and mushroom. There's only three flavours. Yeah. Gee, that's not a very good show. Like, yeah. Where's your normal chicken one? That's what I'd say. Everyone loves oh, got, chicken rice. I've got, I've got, no, I've got four day week, so... Four day week, folks. You heard it here first. One in, one in, and um, 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 one in, one in, and... Papa Pepe, hello. Ooh, ooh. Papa Pepe, <laughs> Ting and Ting Light. Okay, looks like we've got a new product launch here. This uh, being associated by some, uh, sorry, uh, so being a, a, what, what am I saying? Being accompanied by some promotional material. Bullseye Original Barbecue Sauce. We've got those sort of American style thin plastic bowl, so that must mean something, right? Uh, they've got a steakhouse. Barbie, New York Steakhouse, what does that mean then? New York has never backed down and the same is true when it comes to flavour, that's why this sauce is full of heart and ready to take on any red meat. Ooh, bold, bold spicy Texas, red hot chilli, smoky chipotle, smoky bacon, blimey. The Pernays is now in supermarkets, we've got lemon and herb, mild, hot, uh, rubs, instant flavour rubs, coat and cook. Wow, Claire is lucky, there is one teriyaki left, and that is the one that I bought and she ate and stole. They weren't even that good. Huh? They weren't even that good. Jesus Christ guys, finally, I've been looking at this, I've been looking for this for about three months or so. Finally found the white chocolate flavour angel delight. A nice big Dr. Oatka, or as uh, Gossie calls them, Dr. Robotnik. Unicorn confetti. Yeah, that looks good, doesn't it? I like this midnight magic. That looks good. Midnight magic. Okay, guys, I'm now going to test to see how witty I am. Um, marigold. Oh, you know, oh, if you like it that much, why don't you marry it? Um, uh, hob, cl hob cleaner. Um, oh, if you like it that much, why don't you marry it? Uh, see, what I, see what I'm going with this? Multi-surface wipes. Yeah, if you like it that much, why don't you marry it? I'm not witty, am I? So. I've made this joke before, but surf's up. Surf is on the top shelf. It's actually on the bottom shelf as well, so doesn't even work this time around. What the hell, guys? I just saw this colour. I saw this colour can and I was like, hang on, what? There's not a purple Pringles. Chips and curry... Match day edition. Match day edition. That is actually, I haven't even seen that on Instagram. Oh, quick, mate. Take a photo. Yeah, quick, quick, take a photo. So I'm going to check to see if the little dickhead Instagram posse have, uh, have got a photo of that Pringles up yet. But, uh, Asda's got free Wi-Fi, guys. What the hell? I think that's most of the food stuff done, but we're just going to blaze in like the clothes and toys and whatnot. Wow, guys, I found a Black Panther t-shirt. That's sick. You should actually look at the um, flaps, because they might have some more pink. Ooh, yeah, let's go look yeah. at the slacks. I like this one, but I don't like that you can't see the green on the gauntlet. So, didn't get that. Just had a relatively amusing moment. I put, um, saw a woman, or a young, young woman, pick up uh, the original sauce rhubarb and raspberry. <laughs> and I said, I walked over and I said, oh, I, I used that this morning. Yeah, it's, it's quite good. Um, and then the, what I assume was the boyfriend just gave me the, the weirdest look. It was like... <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, that's it, guys. Thank you for watching. We're going to go home now. We're just a short journey to Ellsbury, where we live. So, thanks for joining us. Hope you enjoyed this shopping vlog at Asda. If you're new, subscribe for more. And if you're not, why don't you turn on the notification bell? That's good. Join the notification squad, That's, people probably like doing that, don't they? I don't know, do you? See you later.